Tau overflows. Lama Karmappa and Osho's past lives. Lama Karmappa had said something about Osho. First, you have to know who is Lama Karmappa. Karmappa is a long lineage of consciously reborn Lamas. Karmappa is honorific title for His Holiness, the Gyalva Karmappa, more formally known as King of the Victorious Ones Karmappa, and informally as Lama Karmappa. He is the head of the Karma Kogyu, the largest sub-school of Kagyu itself, one of the four major schools of Tibetan Buddhism. Buddhism has certain branches, Theravada Buddhism, Mahayana Buddhism, Hinayana Buddhism and others. Tibet, it has four branches. Karmappa was Tibet's first consciously incarnating Lama. The historic seat of Karmapas is Surfu Monastery in Tolong Valley of Tibet. After Kashmir was, after Tibet was annexed by China, so Dalai Lama as well as Karmapa moved to other areas. Karmapa's principal seat in exile is Dharma Chakra Center at Runtek Monastery in Sikkim in India, whereas the seat of Dalai Lama is in Dharmashala, Himanchal Pradesh in India. The source of this lineage tra traditionally traces back to Vajradhara Buddhism, another aspect of Buddhism, Vajradhara Buddhism. It was transmitted to Tilopa, who is the Indian born master of Mahamudra and Tantra 969 to 1069. There is a lineage. Tilopa was followed by Naropa and then it goes on. Tilopa taught Mahamudra to Naropa. Mahamudra is homage to Vajra Dakini. Mahamudra cannot be taught, but Naropa was most intelligent. And he, Tilopa said, since you have undergone rigorous austerities with forbearance in suffering and with devotion to your master, the Blessed One, take this secret instructions to heart, says Tilopa. All these sacred instructions are to be taken by heart, not to be noted down on a piece of paper. Tilopa's Mahamudra has 28 sutras. Is this first sutra, I am mentioning it to you. Is a space anywhere supported? Is a space anywhere supported? Upon what does it rest? Have you ever wondered what is that supports the space? This question might wobble you. Is space supported anywhere supported? Upon what does it rest? Like a space, Mahamudra is dependent upon nothing. Like a space, Mahamudra 
is not dependent on any on anything mahamudra is dependent on nothing relax and settle in the continuum of unalloyed purity relax and settle in the continuum of unalloyed purity and your bonds loosen your bonds loosen release is certain once you realize that there is nothing that supports the space so too mahamudra is not supported by anything once this sinks deep within you you can all the bonds that and slave seal it starts loosening up and release is certain and true naropa who lived between 1016 to 1100 it was transferred to marpa marpa lord sava and from him to milarepa milarepa was one of the most beautiful ma tibetan masters of karmapa lineage these four fathers of the kogyo lineage are collectively called the golden rosary so this is about karmapa it is an honorific title given to tibetan buddhist master reincarnated karmapa had said the it is when an individual attains to awakening or is ready to enter into maha samadhi the life force it is released through can release through various centers it can release through the top of the head which is the brahmarandra or through the forehead so it is released with such a force that there comes a hole so in tibet in that particular monastery they preserve such bodies when lala ji entered into maha samadhi the light emerged light came out from the forehead and dis- and dissolved in the atmosphere the space within the room where he was entering into samadhi and surrounded by ma jagmohan narayan brijmohan lal raghavar dayal shah shah abdul ghani shakuntala devi jay devi all these were gathered and they witnessed this when shah maulana fazl ahmed khan entered into samadhi a similar incident happened and he continued to narrate how the life force is receding from different parts of the body karmappa had said that one of the body of osho from the past birth is preserved in a cave in tibet there are 99 bodies so when you start normally we start counting from left to right that is the normal traditional way of counting the bodies so in that it is 97th body 97th when you are counting from left to right and when you are counting from right to the left it is the third body 99 first 98 second 97 third so this body is of osho and it was said by karmappa in tibet they have tried for thousands of years to preserve the bodies in which some extraordinary thing happened just as 
the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. They have preserved such bodies as an experimentation because such events do not happen again and again and do not happen so easily. After thousands of years, once in a while, such thing happens that the life force burst open the third eye center so there is a hole or hole in the skull so these things happen for instance someone's third eye opened and along with it it broke the hole in the bone where the third eye exists such an event takes place sometimes once in thousands of years and the third eye opens in so many people but this hole does not happen to everyone when this hole happens the reason behind that is in that case the third eye has opened with tremendous force and that force has caused this hole in the forehead at the third eye center such skulls are such bodies are then preserved in that monastery. For instance, someone's sex energy, the basic energy, rose with such force that it broke hole in the crown of the head and merges into the cosmos. Normal, it happens to the people, but as a rare case, it burst open the skull and merges into the cosmos. Such a thing happens only once in a while. Many people merge in the universal cosmic reality, but the energy filters through so slowly with such intervals that the energy simply seeps in small measures and a hole is not created. It is only when with a great force that it happens. Once in a while it happens with such sudden intensity that breaks the skull and entire energy merges into. So they preserve the body. This way, until now, they have done the greatest experiment in the history of human consciousness. They have preserved 99 bodies. So Karmapa had said that among those 99 bodies, one is the body of Osho. It is also preserved. It is the 97th from the left side and the 3rd from the right side. One of Osho's sannyasi, Swami Gobind Siddharth, reported this on 6th of June 1972 that Karmapa told him that Osho is the greatest incarnation since Buddha in India and is the living Buddha but we have developed the habit of worshipping the dead Buddhas, not the living ones. Karmapa is very excited and indicated a close association with Osho in the past lives. Osho's last birth was said to be 700 years ago when the, he, was, he died and he was undergoing a 21 days fast. But it happened three days before the fast to finish she uh, was killed and that too was a blessing. So when he has left three days of fasting, so when in this life he was born, for three days he did not suckle the mother's milk. That to complete the 21 days fasting, please you ask me, please, would you say something about your past lives, Osho says. My previous birth took place about 4,700 years ago, and it is said I was born with near about full knowledge. I say near about only because some steps were left which has to be completed, and they were left deliberately, and deliberately that can be done. In this connection, the Jain thinking is very scientific. Enough for now.